In the end, it is really difficult for an overall weather pattern to stay in one particular version from November all the way through March. So generalizing really doesn't do the complexity of winter really any justice. There are usually many ups and downs. Take last winter, for example, where some spots saw three to four feet of snow in just one mid December storm. And then what followed an almost mild extended January thaw. Looking at the last five years of snowfall here in Concord shows even more variability with an average of 60 to 65 inches of snow for a season. These five very changeable each season do average out to about 65 inches of snow if you put them all together. So are we due for a big season? That isn't very scientific. We have to look at all the ingredients to make what a winter season truly is is. And there are a lot of different players and because of that, a lot of different forecasts ahead of time. We look into patterns over the Arctic and over the northern Atlantic Ocean and even in the eastern Pacific Ocean, where we're in a weak La Nina season to glean any sort of a clue at all. NOAA's official forecast that came out just a few weeks ago calls for a milder than normal winter in New England overall and an equal chance of above or below normal precipitation, which yes, could be rain, snow, or ice. This just truly begins our journey to explain what we create as a New Hampshire winter here all week on daybreak and at 730 PM. We'll be looking at other segments of forecasting our winter with our Stormwatch 9 meteorologists. So you'll want to stay tuned. Yeah, not to add in too, but uh, it is different parts of the state that get different weather, so it's very tricky. You don't say. <laughs> We had to put five parts together to try to even get enough detail about it. So that's why you're always talking about a state divided, um, isn't it? Yes, yes. that's one of your favorite phrases. Yeah, I like it.